couple extra things we can do with this one that are kind of somewhat interesting. First of all, our line AB goes from 0, 1.2 up to 4, 13. We found the unit vector from A to B. That, that lies along in here with only length 1, and that was 0. 0.32104 and 0. 0.94707 meters. We found that before. But if somebody asked you to find the unit vector perpendicular to this line, we want to find something that goes in this direction and is perpendicular to UAB. The greatest thing about that is that two lines are perpendicular if their dot product is equal to zero. So if UAB is this and we want to find something that has a dot product equal to zero, well think about this one. What if we took and switched the orders of the things and added a negative number? that vector, if we multiply this one times that, and that one times that, and added it up, we would have 0 0.321 times negative 0 0.947 plus 0 0.947 times 0 0.321. That is always going to be zero. Two lines are perpendicular if the dot product of them is equal to zero. So, given that this has a dot product equal to zero, we can say that this unit vector is perpendicular to this one. We'd have to continue to show that it's a unit vector, but you can do that by just finding the length of the vector. And as we showed before, if you take the length of this vector with the Pythagorean theorem, you will in fact show that this is equal to one. So by switching the components of the, the vector we found before, we've found a unit vector perpendicular to AB.